Hello everyone, Cody Nokolo here. Since its announcement, I've been closely following developments related to a book that compiles many things Satoru Iwata said during his life, Iwata-san. This book is published by Shigesato Itoi's company, Hobonichi, but it wasn't edited by Itoi. It was edited by a former Famitsu editor that works for Hobonichi, Yasuhiro Nagata. Nagata was a huge mother fan before joining Hobonichi in the early 2000s, and since joining, he's worked his way up to become a chair in the company. Nagata has been the one responsible for developing the mother merchandise that's come from Hobonichi too. Nagata has had close contact with Iwata whether it's been through the times Nagata has interviewed Iwata or when they have spent personal time together along with Itoi. This translation comes from a series written by Nagata on the Iwata-san book's website called The Making of Iwata-san, which details the process of making the book. Part 1. A Promise Four Years Ago On the day of Iwata-san's funeral, it was raining. The rain and wind were so strong, wavering and sporadic in strength, but still intense. And that's to say, before long, I was storming like that weather. There, in his black suit, Shigesato Itoi said, Iwata-san. I wonder what he said in his final moments, while he looked up at the sky. Maybe he didn't know what he said would be written down so dramatically like this. But, at the time, I didn't seem to think that either. When he looked up, through the black speckled clouds like we were in a movie, it felt like Iwata-san was with us. Whenever I recall how this book came to be, I remember that day, June 17th, 2015, Kyoto. Iwata-san passed away six days ago. Only able to speak for a short while, Shigeru Miyamoto and Masahiro Sakurai acted dazed somehow. Wakimoto-san, who worked as his secretary for so long, was resolute and kept working. The wind was strong in that rain, it gusted under the roof above us, and our umbrellas were useless. Maybe something in the mood or our disposition could have caused that. Aren't you lonely looking like that? I could have fittingly heard Iwata-san say something like this in his high voice. Since Iwata-san passed away, so many voices on social media and other sites like that wished for an Iwata-san book to be made, and they reached places like Hobonichi and where I live. Honestly, I thought about something like that right away, but I stopped myself from thinking about it right away too. Iwata-san, I thought something like that wasn't what he wanted, I guess. Iwata-san, just before he left us, always was saying, I'll do something like that at the most reasonable time. I don't think he wanted to announce his thoughts to so many people, to spread his name so much. Would it be fine to release a book about Iwata-san if that was his wish? I wonder if this is the best use of your time, Nagata-san, I'd ask myself. Despite that, I still thought about it. Maybe, when it came to Iwata-san, I felt like I needed to do something for him. It's better to do something good, little comes from everything passing you by, and the same applies in writing to mourn someone. I kept thinking that if I were to do something, to those closest to him, it would sound like disregarding his wishes. I gave up that big moment. I thought that people had surely sealed their thoughts of him away. Any book about Iwata-san has left with him was echoed around by so many gaming fans, or now, since the release of the Iwata-san book, I've also found other people who feel strongly about him. They wanted the same thing done, so having carried a huge loss that day, I wanted to do something with that suffering, and I kept those people in mind. I think Itoi's and the book's words were from the closeness of that dampened breeze. Even now, I think about what he said then. I thought about that, what Iwata-san would and say. And in that moment, I remembered. That day, I wrote a request on Twitter. Maybe it was for those people who were waiting. Those people thinking about what we were going through and what wasn't reported. It's really coming down, that's so sudden for average weather. I've always followed what Iwata-san said, so I'll create a book that compiles Iwata-san's words. It makes sense, that's what a book about him should be. I will start work on it soon. When my heart's settled, I'm going to make a great book. Then Itoi replied to me, absolutely get it out there. At that unwavering sign, I had made a promise to everyone. Now that I've found and read that tweet again, 
I've noticed all the replies to it. Surely everyone thought something should be done for him. To be continued. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this translation, leave a like and subscribe for more. You can support us on Patreon by using the link in the description too. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support. This has been Cody Nokolo signing off, and with that, always remember to return to the source.